Hello and welcome to another video of Dynamo for Alias. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the 3D view inside of Dynamo. So as you can see here, um, I've got my a simple script, um, uh, but it's really hard to tell what it's actually doing because uh, I don't have anything like preview is off, so I, I have no idea what's going on. So uh, one way to enable the 3D view is uh, to go into view at the top, background 3D preview, available previews, and click on this guy right here. So once you have clicked on this, you'll see a background 3D preview, uh, which is standing behind uh, what's called uh, the, the graph scene. Okay, so uh, now you've noticed uh, on the top right that we've got two li two little buttons. One is the graph view, and the other one is the uh, background 3D preview. So you can you can press either one of these buttons, or press Control B as a shortcut. Uh, so uh, right now I'm in 3D view, um, and uh, the controls uh, for this 3D view are a little bit different than in Alias. So um, Right now, I, I'm tumbling uh, with the uh, right mouse button. The left mouse button doesn't do anything. And if I click and hold the middle mouse button, I'm panning around. And if I scroll, I can also, I can also uh, zoom in and out. Um, one tiny thing is also uh, if, you right, if you hold down the right mouse button and scroll at the same time, you'll get a much nicer, smoother scroll uh, zoom, I mean, uh, into your 3D view. So, uh, another thing, uh, other things to consider. Right now, uh, as you can see, I'm generating a bunch of spheres uh, randomly inside my scene. Uh, but as you can tell, they're a little bit uh, low res because uh, that's because I can. You can inside of Dynamo, you can actually choose uh, the uh, what's called the render precision inside of um, Dynamo. Uh, I suggest you keep it fairly low. Uh, I think by default it's it's set at um, around the value like this. Uh, I suggest you keep it that way or even at a minimum because uh, you will hit uh, performance roadblocks, uh, bottlenecks, I mean, uh, down the line. And it's always better to have um, Dynamo performing smoothly and at its best rather than have a, a higher resolution which won't be able to help you down the line. So I suggest you keep it fairly low or even at the lowest possible setting uh, just so that you save on performance. Um, a couple of things that people have been mentioning is that they haven't been able to get the 3D view. So even though um, what, what's been happening for those people is that when they go into view, background 3D preview, uh, that button is grayed out. So they're not able to click it, which, uh, which can be quite annoying if you're trying to just see what the hell is going on. So uh, a couple of things about that. Let me just switch to uh, my web browser right here. There are, you can check out uh, known issues and uh, the Dynamo frequently asked questions on the GitHub page. I will link those in the description. Uh, but here, um, there are a couple of issues that are pointed out about um, the um, uh, background geometry not being rendered. So uh, we have noticed a couple of things about integrated versus uh, discrete graphics units. So make sure uh, that in your settings, you, uh, you either have um, your discrete GPU enabled and associated with Dynamo. Uh, in, in that doesn't, if that doesn't work, uh, try the integrated graphics. But in most cases, uh, it should have it should you should have the um, discrete GPU enabled and associated with Dynamo. Uh, another thing is uh, also that uh, on some machines that only have a discrete GPU. Uh, and you still don't have a 3D preview enabled, it's worth updating your uh, DirectX. So go on the Microsoft website, uh, there's a link right here, and download the, uh, the, uh, the latest update for DirectX. And fingers crossed, you should be good to go. Um, I don't recommend um, uh, using Dynamo with uh, the 3D view disabled, because um, even though you, you are able to bake uh, as I'll show you later in later videos, uh, you're able to bake your output inside of Dynamo step by step. I, I really don't recommend it. Um, uh, please spend the time uh, having your 3D view enabled. Uh, just as a reminder, it's view, background 3D preview, available preview, background preview, click. Uh, it'll, it'll just save you so much time and effort down the line. 
So please spend some time and effort if that's uh, disabled by default. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's it for this, for this video. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be reading the comments, and uh, I'll be watching out for requests. If you have uh, any specific uh, topics you'd like me to cover, just write them down in the comments, and uh, I'll, I'll make sure to cover them in a later video.